question number 22 we are told the figure below shows uh, b or represent a triangular flower garden ABC in which AB is equals to 4 meters BC is 5 meters and B angle B C A is equals to 30 uh, point D lies on AC such that uh, BD is equals to 4 centimeter so we have the figure here and we are required to find correct to two decimal places uh, we have uh, angle BDC uh, so this is angle BDC uh, the one I you can see here and for us to be able to get that angle we can use the angle that we already know that is 30 side 4 and side 5 uh, that is BC to be able to get that angle so for us to do that we can say uh, for the sign of 30 is the same as 5 uh, the sign of uh, uh, the sign of uh, D let's call it D so we can now be able to get sign D uh, sign D is equals to uh, 5 the sign of 30 and you divide by 4 which you when you work out you'll be able to get it is 0 0.6250 so this is a we are told it is a we can see it's an obtuse angle so it is greater than 90 and therefore the angle whose uh, sign is this uh, d would be this the, the sign inverse of this is that the 8 so it is 180 minus 38.68 uh, and that should give you the angle that we are looking for uh, which is uh, 141.341.32 uh, so we can say this angle here uh, this is uh, 141.32 uh, uh, this angle here because when you add them both they should give you uh, the same uh, 180 that angle is 38 it is at the 8.62 uh, uh, so those are the two angles and you can see this side we are told it is equals to uh, 4 meters and the other one is also so we can say this is an isosceles triangle this triangle is the same as that the 8.62 uh, because it is an isosceles triangle uh, we can also be able to get this angle here this angle you'll be able if 180 minus when you add the two ang base angles you should be able to get uh, 102.64 uh, so we can be able to get those angles so uh, the length of ad so if we want to get ad we can use the angles that we already have and we say that uh, our ad uh, we can use uh, this method so using the angles that we already have determined we can say our AD divide by the, uh, the opposite angle is the sign of 102.64 it is equals to uh, 4 divided by the angle opposite 4 you can either use AB or BD it is a sign of that uh, 8. Point uh, six eight. So with that, we can get AD is equals to uh, four. The sign of uh, one o two point six four, and this is divided by the sign of uh, that uh, eight point six eight. With using your calculator, uh, you should be able to get it is six point two five. Uh, six point two five. Uh, centimeter so this is our ad and that is part b uh, so let's go to part c uh, so part c we are told to find length the uh, length of uh, dc and if you look at uh, what we have here we can we can get uh, the length of dc we can be we can be able to get this angle because we say that angle is 180 minus we are 30 uh, that is 30 
uh, plus 141.32 uh, degrees. These are degrees uh, because the three, the, uh, the angle, angle that is this is we are talking of angle uh, D B C. The angles add up to 180, and you'll be able to get that angle is 8. Point. We get uh, 8.68 degrees. So we can use this angle to get DC, and we we'll say uh, DC divided by the sine of uh, 8.68 degrees is the same as 4, uh, and the opposite side of angle of 4 is sine. 30 uh, degrees so you find that uh, dc uh, is equals to 4 uh, the sine of uh, 8 point this is 8 point uh, 6 8 uh, then you divide by uh, this is the sine of uh, 30 and using your calculator you'll be able to get dc is 1.21 centimeter uh, centimeter. So that is how you answer uh, part C. Let's have a look at part D. So part, part D, we are told to find the area of the flower garden. So this is uh, part D. The area, uh, we already have this angle. This angle here, it is 8 point, we have found this angle is 8.68 degrees. So therefore, we can be able to use uh, this, the length 4 and length 5, and we add the two angles. When you add 102.64, you add to 8.68, uh, you get uh, 130, 111.32. So we can be able to get the area and say area, area is equals to a half uh, multiplied by 4 multiply by 5 the sine of <coughs> 111.32 <coughs> so that is a combination of the whole of this angle here so when you compute that using the calculator you will be able to get 9.32 uh, centimeter squared uh, so that is how we work out that question uh, I hope you have been able to follow. That's why I'm using different colors because of the limited space. But uh, at least you can be able to follow the procedure that we have followed. Uh, you did this in uh, Form 3. Uh, so uh, once you are able to identify those angles, you know the, how to find the area of a triangle using two sides and inclusive angle. Uh, so that's how we will go about that question.